Uh, so I think I'm gonna do a day in the life video, but <laughs> hey, I'm trying to film something. Jeez, I gotta get away. Uh, every day is a little bit different, so I think I'm gonna just film like over a week. Every day, I make sure these guys are happy, and I make sure I make some money. And lawn care is a big part of that. This video should be interesting. Maybe I can cut it to five minutes, 54 seconds. Cause you know, I love YouTube and I've been doing that for 10 years and I want to do that full time. But for now we got to do this. And I love these guys more. <laughs> Ooh, an air flyer. Time to start this video. Oh yeah. And we rented a mother dump truck. That's probably going to be a long job. I thought this shot was pretty cool. I got the homie Luke, Zach, and my stepbrother Drew. We're all working today for a crew. Woo, it's gonna be a good day. I thought this shot was really cool. It was really satisfying listening and watching all those rocks slowly fall out of the truck. That took so long to shovel in with four guys, but we still did it. So basically what this job entailed was removing the old rock the client had. Um, as you can see, there's still a little bit left on top, but that's fine because they're putting weed fabric and mulch on top. But we did get the majority of the rock. It actually took three to four dump truck loads. It was crazy. Hey. Here's what I ate I and my beautiful babies. Up. I ate the Culver's, by the way, not my babies. All right, it is Tuesday. I was supposed to vlog yesterday, Monday, but I got really busy with work. He grinding. He, he a whole team. Is there anything you want to say for my Tuesday vlog? Oh, it is? All right, so today we're gonna be taking out all this rock right here. This is something Drew and I have been doing on our own for about a year now. And I love the instant gratification you get when you finish a job because the clients always look so happy and satisfied with our work. I actually have a clip of these clients freaking out because they were so geeked at this mulch slash trenching job we did for them. Oh, whoa, that's so awesome. Great. Woo, you can smell it, how fresh it is. <laughs> So we're clearing this section out. All right, so this is pretty much all the rock removed. So this is our grading line. We're just taking these bricks from the trenching that we're making as we go. Drew's making a straight down one. Come in at an angle like this. Bring it back here. Put the grass side down like that. As we trench, we pull this cart with the heavy dirt. It makes the trenching pop a lot more this compared to this. All right, so we got all the trenching done. We put all the trenching dirt, which is here. We graded the back going this way. We're gonna smooth that out. So now the fabric is laid out. And now we move on to put this rock on there. All right, so now we are putting the old rock back onto the new weed fabric that has just been sprayed underneath. Huh? I don't know if this will be stuck because you just filmed it. Putting the new rock in the truck. Oh, <laughs> All right, so we're shoveling out of the I, I, truck. I, I don't know what this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we just put all the new rock He's down. Still saying <laughs> we got this graded nice. Gonna dump this, and then I'm gonna blast it with water, polish all the rocks, and blast it with some weed kill. Let's get it. Okay, so now I am pressure washing the rock. Give it that nice power drill. All right, and now that the rock is all polished, we have our weed killer chemical. Weed? <laughs> Hooked up to the pressure washer. We're gonna blast it away. Besides working with my best friends, the best thing about this job was the barrier going around the flower bed. It really pops, it has solar lights, and we even sprayed grass killer under all the bricks so there'll be no grass in the flower bed. And we got the trenching, it looks so nice. Thanks for watching. Obviously you guys like watch my dogs when I work long hours. Yeah. So what would you say like you find Cyber and Cammy doing the most throughout the day? They like to go from being in the sun in the back in the shade. Yeah. And they like to come in here and take a break. They, they nap a lot, but they like to play a lot. So. Yeah. We have to do short stints of playing so she doesn't have a hard time get over, overheated. It seems like Cammy has always had respiratory issues, but lately they've been really bad, so we're just really careful with her. Low to no exercise right now. Just listen to her after playing outside. <laughs> 
few things before the video ends one i got a haircut let the curls grow before you judge but also on june 30th 2017 was when david and i landed our first client it was a lawn cut for thirty dollars david eventually went into the air force which is fine because we all got to do our own thing you know and i kept doing the lawn care stuff then about a year ago, Drew and I started going full force with this, and now we're here. The reason why I love this lawn care business is because you never know what's going to happen. The first lawn cut this business ever saw was $30 on June 30th, 2017. Fast forward to last year, June 30th, is when I found Cami. I took on a $25 job that should have been 60 and on the way home, I felt defeated, but then I found her. I bring all this up to say that my dogs are a big motivation for me to keep going with this landscaping business. And until YouTube's my full-time job, I'm going to be doing this. Maybe you can help by liking and sharing the video, watch some more. But yeah, that's what I do. By the way, this is where I'm going to put my YouTube play buttons. Please support my journey.